Hi, I'm Eli Prinson from HybridVocalTechnique.com. Just coming at you with a little tip. Uh, your tongue, the tongue, crazy, right? It uh, articulates for us, helps us to sing with better diction and uh, helps us to form our words, pronounce things, right? But it can also really get in the way. It can get in the way of our singing. It can get in the way of our tone. It can create constriction and problems for you in your high range, okay? So wouldn't it be nice to be able to control that thing? The tongue is probably the hardest thing there is to tame, both in our, in our lives, you know, with the things that we say and you know, say to one another and, and in our singing. The tongue is a muscle we have, we have used our whole life and built up bad habits our whole life. So we can't expect them to go away instantly, but we can create a new habit in 21 days. Proven fact, okay? So I can give you a crazy little sound to help you let go of that tongue. Start releasing that tongue a little bit more, okay? It's called a tongue flop. Sounds like this. Okay? Probably the stupidest thing in the world, right? Or the most embarrassing or ridiculous thing in the world. But try it. If you sound like this, which I used to, you'll find that, wow, that's not as easy as what I thought. Maybe some of you can do it just like that. And that's good. If you can't, it's because you have tension in the back of your tongue, in the root of your tongue, way in the back. Now, if you could see inside your skull and in your throat, you would see that your tongue is connected in here. So if your voice is created here, your tongue's connected to it, and the tongue is, is tense, well, guess what? Everything else is tense, okay? So it would stand to reason that you would want to release that tension so that you could have freedom here, right? So crazy little exercise. If you're starting out like and you find that as you get lower, it starts getting free, you just keep working with it, okay? Start relaxing, think, use your mind, think the back of your tongue being free. And then make it more interesting for yourself. Think a good bright tone onto that the same way that you would when you sing. Think a little tiny bit of glottal compression and a little bit of support. Think about that bridge and the fusion of your registers. Okay? So, point being, every exercise that you do, don't do it for one purpose. Think about three or four or five things you can get out of it. That's what we do at hybridvocaltechnique.com. Come and see me. Let's do great things with your voice.